How are you today? Yeah, morning doctor. I'm George. Okay. I'm having pain in my right, especially thighs. Okay. Uh, I'm in pain for the last one week. Okay. And then it was a severe bit two days after that. Okay. Just one week of pain and then two days it was... Okay, so do you have any um, accompanied symptoms with the pain? Like fever, chill, weakness? Yeah, I, I have fever. Fever, especially in the evening. Okay. Know, okay especially in the evening. So, how is your appetite? Do you eat well or not? Uh, not very. Not very. Okay. Okay. I think because of the fever. Okay. So, what is your age? 60. You are 60. Okay. So, can you tell me about your past activities for the one week? Nothing much. I had actually, I had a tattoo. Okay. I had a tattoo. Then it all started from there. So, you had a tattoo one, yeah. one week ago? One week ago after that. Okay. So the pain started five yeah. days ago and it is yes. severe two yes. days ago. Right. Okay. So um, can you tell me about your past health history? Like uh, do you have any operation? I had an operation about ten days ago. Ten days ago. Appendix. Okay, for appendix. Yeah. Okay. So anything else? Like do you have any health problems? After that, the medical history, I have uh, a diabetic, I'm a diabetic patient. You have a diabetic, you have yeah. diabetes. Yes. For how long? For about 30 years plus, for 34 years 34 plus. years. So, you are a diabetic patient for 34 years? Yes. Okay. So, do you have gastric ulcer, allergy or blood transfusion? No. Okay. So, what about your personal habits? Do you smoke, drink or use of drugs? Yeah, I drink, I smoke. Okay. You do. And what about TB, stroke and myocardial infarction? Uh, no. no. So do you take any medications? Yeah, I'm taking insulin. You're taking insulin. Yeah. For how long? What's the dosage? 3 ml. For the last 3 years. For the last 3 years. Okay. The patient is a 60-year-old who complains of pain in the right thigh, limbs when walking, has fever and poor appetite. The patient got a tattoo a week ago and started experiencing swelling and severe pain. The patient smokes and drinks alcohol. The patient has diabetes for the past 34 years and is currently on insulin. The patient has no allergies and no past blood transfusion. The patient might have infection due to the tattoo on the thigh. So, so Mr. George, yeah. now I'm going to uh, do some tests on you. So let me begin with the uh, uh, pulse and BP checking. So can, can you remove your jacket? Right, right. Uh, anything, fine. Okay. Just remove so my pulse. I should do. Um, the reading is normal. We have normal blood pressure. So, can you give me a test? Okay. Uh, I need to check your pulse. Okay. Breathe in and breathe out normally. Okay. Thank you. Upon examination of the right thigh, redness was noticed, swelling, local heat, and then the tissue was hard. Movement in the lip is difficult. Redness was spotted, pulse was present, 
there's presence of local heat, low numbness, there's um, regional sensitivity, the patient cannot walk normally, and our conclusion is that the patient has phlegmon. Um, so, can you show me a thumb? Yeah, I'll show you a thumb. Okay, thank you. Uh, okay, so your vital signs look fine. Uh, do you have any pain in your abdomen, in your stomach, or no? No. no. So you're all right. No yeah, symptoms. Yeah, okay. okay. So, but do you check your urine color? And it's normal. No, it's normal. Yeah. Okay. So that's good. So we suspect that you have uh, infection in right thigh. Mm -hmm. Okay, because you had a tattoo one week ago. Yeah. That may cause the infection. Okay. So, but we can't jump into the conclusion, we need to do further more tests, okay, we need to do an instrumental and lab test, um, so for the instrumental test, we need to do a CT scan, the X-ray and an ultrasound on your right thigh, and then for the lab test, we need to do your uh, WBC and complete blood count and your glucose test, and then additionally, we need to do urine and immune test, so after the test, we will decide what can we do, and then we will conclude uh, your diagnosis. Primary diagnosis is that there is infection in the right thigh. CBC was administered after ultrasound. It shows the presence of fluid. Lab test for bacteria shows gram positive. Final diagnosis is phlegmon. And for the medical treatment, antiplatelet drugs and anticoagulants have to be administered to the patient. Okay. Um, so, John. After uh, looking at your lab results, we can say that you have a uh, bacterial infection on your right thigh mm -hmm. uh, in a purulent stage. First localization is seen. Uh, we call it as a phlegmon in medical terms. Mm -hmm. uh, can you explain me? Uh, I, I, I don't understand your medical... Okay, um, so okay. phlegmon is a medical term um, describing an inflammation of soft tissue under your skin or in the internal body it is usually caused by an infection and it produced pus. Okay. So that's what happened in your right thigh due to the tattoo mm -hmm. um, you did last week. Okay. So you need to do a surgical treatment for it. So you need to, you need to sign a consent form before doing the surgery if you are okay. So, um, so any questions? Yeah, how would the surgery go? I mean, how would you remove the... Okay, so first you uh, um, introduce a uh, local anesthesia, that is spinal anesthesia on your right leg, uh, right thigh, and then you proceed with the incision and then you will drain the pus out of your right thigh mm -hmm. and you will be fine. How long is this surgery or do I have to like uh, stay in the uh, be warded or okay. so you have to be in the hospital for one day mm -hmm. and the treatment is just about maximum of one hour and after that you will be under observation and you will not have any, have any complications and you can go home tomorrow. Okay. I can I, I mean I can walk for a normal right? Yeah you can walk normally. There's nothing to worry about. There's another question I would like to ask. Yes. Since I'm a diabetic, will this uh, operation Okay, that's a good question. Uh, since you're a diabetic patient, you will have uh, slow recovery. The incision wound will take uh, much longer to heal compared to the normal person. So you should uh, take the medicines regularly after the surgery which we give you. And uh, we, will, we will monitor you for a day after that. If any complications happen, you may come back to the hospital. But other than that, you should yeah. know what is nothing to, right? to worry, right? Nothing to worry. Okay, okay. fine. Okay. Yeah. Anything else I should know, doctor? No, that's all. Okay. Then, uh, you can um, sign the consent form and admit yourself so that we can proceed the surgery today. Okay, okay. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. For the treatment, antibiotics targeted at gram-positive bacteria are needed, painkillers are also needed, surgery is required, spinal anesthesia is required, there is need to be incision, then the control of bleeding if it happens.